Yeah, I mean, just holy Oh my crap. goodness. <laughs> Look at all and the H on our team. Here's the, here's the part that makes me laugh. They talk about <laughs> class-based matchmaking, okay? And I see one, two, three, four, five heavies. And then on the enemy team, I see one, two, three, four, five, six. But the thing is, our majority of heavies <laughs> are... Tier 8s. Tier eight. Yeah, yeah, so class-based matchmaking just ruined it. Not to mention one of our TDs, which is me. So another thing is, is that with class-based matchmaking, if you guys notice, it's also still doing platoon matchmaking as well. Because there's the equal yep. amount of platoons in both teams. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, oh, we just got teamed bumped. up with a platoon, and class-based matchmaking took over and forced our uh, our platoon into a tier ten. Yeah, platoon <laughs> against our player. We're always against tier. And here's the, here's the best part. People always ask, why do you load a whole crap ton of premium? And this is the reason why. It's how often <laughs> this happens. Yep. All, yeah, and one, with two, me and you, it seems like it happens all the time. Oh yeah. Yesterday was awesome though, but today today's been. Uh... Uh, I'd be able to get some shots on that chieftain if they peek. I just think it's crazy that this is happening. And then them saying that they're going to be limiting artillery to one... Ah, there's a lot of people right here. One per uh, platoon, yet we're seeing three every single game. It's... Pl the, the one per platoon's not going to fix it, because the focus fire is still going to be there. I feel like I'm probably in the wrong spot because we need to set up the crossfire and I'm not in the right spot for a crossfire. No, it doesn't matter if we do the crossfire. There's too many people here. Actually, you uh -huh. know what? Yeah, we can set up a crossfire. We've got to do it fast. I know. They're going to rush down quickly. I'm going to try to get to that hill you were on last time. Yep. Or you can try and get further right at uh, H0 and then snipe from up it's top there. there. I don't see if I can get there because that might be a little bit safer. But then again, there's two tier tents right there. Yeah, don't try to do it then. Don't worry about it. Let's just get to the. Uh, let's just get there and see how long we can hold because there's three artilleries, which kind of make this play really hard. Yeah. Got spotted. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where from. <laughs> um, no one went to the other side, so we could be getting yeah, light tank. Yeah. Right there. Oh, safe. Someone fucking over there. artillery. Oh, there's someone else over there. And oh, a fire. fire. Oh, double fire. I fire twice. Too well. And hello, Artie. Ten to fifteen. You know, it's totally not the heavies. Totally not the matchmaking that's uh making this match so bad. And there's artillery and a fire. So between our platoon so far this match, we've been set on fire three times. Yeah. Yeah, and. And the best part is, we're bottom tier. Yeah. So, looking at the matchmaking... Yeah, that's a steamroll, because we don't... We literally can't counteract their heavies, because you're in an unupgraded T-32, Blade's in a King Tiger, you know? And, yeah, I mean, just look at this. That's that's literally the role heavies play. Heavies play such a huge role, and... Whenever you're, I mean, there was nothing you could do there. Yeah, class-based yeah. matchmaking is just flawed <laughs> in so many ways. Not to mention, you know, the enemies have one tier 8 and it's an artillery. Yeah. And then our tier 8s are all mobile tanks, frontline tanks, and they get destroyed. Yeah, they need to fix that. That's a big problem. Yeah. Big problem. I hope.